Hi guys, you are probably very confused by the title of this video, but I'm going to be fully transparent. I'm going to be fully honest. Sada is here for support and to help me if I miss like a point. I don't know. Basically, this has been a conversation that I've been having with Saad for a while now. Mm -hmm. um, I know that I've mentioned this on YouTube a couple times also. So clearly, it's been a thought going in and out of my head for a long time now. This isn't something that just like popped in my head overnight. And I was like, I want to do this overnight. Um, let's just get right to it. I You did your makeup. I did my makeup. I did I my see, makeup. I see you're getting teary. You did your makeup, don't do it. You just, you just, that was like an hour and a half. I'm basically. not. God, I would do my makeup and then film an emotion. I, I don't know why you didn't film this part first. I, I don't want to say I am getting plastic surgery yet because it's not for sure. But I'm actually going to get a consultation for surgery. So I might be getting surgery. And now I know everyone is going to have an opinion on this and I understand that I put myself on the internet. I'm literally subjecting myself mm -hmm. to everyone's opinion. I get that. The thing with me is I have always seen these girls on the internet. And I'm like, oh, why doesn't my body look like theirs? And then I realize that they lie and like hide that they have surgery X, Y, and Z. And I don't, if I do go through with this, I don't want to lie about it. I don't even want to lie. I feel sick even hiding the fact that I'm going to a consultation. That's why I'm literally telling you guys like, hey, I'm going to a consultation. You guys know I've been struggling with my body image for a long time now. Um, I feel like I have physically done everything in my power to go about this the healthiest and most natural way possible. I was seeing a thyroid coach for two years. I've been on my thyroid supplement. I've been living a healthy lifestyle. I exercise. I've done calorie counting tried for a, so a long. a weight loss pill. I literally just tried a weight loss pill that my psychiatrist gave me. I went down on my antidepressants. Like I have literally, when I tell you guys, like I feel like I have honestly done everything in the books, by the books. Mm -hmm. And I just can't get past where I am now. And I also want to give a disclaimer. I know I'm not like an unhealthy weight. I know I'm not like obese. I know I'm not, I don't know. You but just all don't that like matters your body. Like, is that this, is, your this body. is the body I was given. This is the body I'm in. Yeah. And because of the health condition that I have now and the things that were thrown at me in life with my thyroid condition, I have a new body. And yeah. I can try to love my body, but I'm having you, a bit of a rough time. I was going to say, you've, you've been doing that for a very long time. I've been so. doing the best I can, and honestly, I'm tired of the mental strain that calorie counting has put me in. I have developed a bad mindset with food. I obviously eat, but all I think about is food and working out, and I don't want to be like that anymore. Um, I saw a nutritionist. And once she also said, like, you are doing everything right, you cannot lower your calorie, calorie deficit anymore or you're going to kill your metabolism. And she was like, honey, I just want to be straight up. Like, she could have took my money and worked with me, but she was like, this is your new body. This is clearly the weight your body wants to be at. You're just kind of going to have to accept it. But um, she was being and honest. Then, yeah, she and she told very, me, she was very... like, you should move on with your life and, you know not worry about calorie counting and because i weigh my food guys and like i was telling her like how depressing that becomes also on top years. of it it's like we we don't go out to eat with each other like we have been recently because yeah recently i have been saying like you know what I'm screw it myself. like i i want to travel i want to have days where i eat what i want mm -hmm. like so i understand that going into this in my head, surgery is not a fix at all. It's not a magic thing. No. As the pills I took were not going to be a magic pill. Which, by the way, those only lasted for like 12 days. I was because say. I was realizing that I was having very shallow breathing. Especially when I was working out. I was to the point of complete breathlessness. Mm -hmm. With barely any effort into working out. So my doctor was like, you know what, stop them. And yeah, I could go and I could try a million more weight loss pills. But at this point, that seems just as dangerous if not more than this so let me tell you what i'm thinking about 
I found this place a long time ago and it's called Air Sculpting. So you're awake the whole time. Uh, because Which is I beyond get to me. I'm not doing a surgery That's that requires crazy. you to go to sleep. That's crazy. So you stay awake the whole time. Um, what I want done is my abdomen um, and my arms, possibly, like this, you know? And yeah, I'll be awake chilling and <sighs> they just suck the fat out. It's, it's that, listen, it's that simple. I mean, obviously there's like more to it, but yeah. it's... That's ex that's essentially what it is, and I'm just like, listen, the downtime on this is not like normal lipo where you go get put to sleep and it's yeah. crazy. People go back to work the next day. Obviously, they're a little sore, but they do. That's the whole thing with this place. It takes like three it's, months to actually see results, but besides that, like, well, no, you chilling. walk out and your body looks completely different instantly. Yeah, but then you it's get just puffy. you see the full unswollen results after about three months. Right. So. Obviously, it's like a little more pricey because it is so like you stay awake. It's not as I'm like sorry. they're not going in as many spots as like I'm sorry. when they cut you open and stuff like but that. But staying awake, like this is this is so crazy to me because Julia's fears are so like irrational. irrational. Like I I don't know if you guys remember us going to LA and like with everyone um, like to this the not the recent trip but the other trip that we went to LA Julia couldn't go up the stairs but you could stay awake for a surgery I'm sorry I just like, got to the point where I'm like if I can literally just go lay on a bed for a few hours stay awake while someone just sucks the fat out of me and go back to my life the next day like why not do Listen, it I'm just getting to the point where so like one life one body I might as how well do you think I I, mean, here. I might as well be happy and this is another thing yeah let me also disclaim mm. I this is not me promoting surgery. I, I've always told you guys, surgery was my last, 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 last option. Mm -hmm. Last option. And please don't come at me with advice in the comments. I promise you, I have done so much off camera that you guys have not seen. I have been through hell with this weight loss journey for so long. And I do it's think this years. is where my body wants to be. Um, which is fine. All bodies are beautiful. And just because if you are bigger than me, or you look different than me, or you're smaller than me, I don't look at you anyway. Just yeah. know that. If you have the same body as me, I'm not looking at you thinking you need surgery. I'm not thinking that. I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, want you to know that. It is that. It is it's me. It's an internal war It is myself. Yourself. It is my soul and my body. And this is just what I am considering doing to myself. I do not wish it upon anyone else. I do not look at anyone a different way. Mm -hmm. I don't even look at myself and hate myself that much. I just wanna, I'm just like, if I can go be hotter, I might as well just go be a little hotter. No, it's not about being hotter, it's about- so No, it's myself. Well, you was like, if I- That's me talking to myself. Okay, yeah, cause I was gonna say like, like I told you, if I can go lay down, I'm and sorry, get but like, out. it. Julia's been thinking about this for a very long time, and on top of it, like I think Julia has watched me like go through all this like shit with myself. I have seen Saad literally change, gain confidence, be a whole new man, and clearly being trans and testosterone is completely are, different. It's a whole different field, but I'm like. I want to be my best version of myself, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. I just think, honestly, at this point in life, this is best for my mental health. As, mm -hmm. as crazy as that might seem to you, I think if it helps me get to where I need to be so that I can enjoy things in life a little more, obviously, mm -hmm. I'm still going to live a healthy lifestyle, but I don't... I just don't want it's it just best. like a constant it's a it's a constant thing and like you guys only see a little bit of it snapchat sees a lot more so add us on snapchat sorry I had a plug um but, <laughs> it's become a serious mental health battle but, but seriously guys like on a real note like it's just like Julia doesn't want to wear like the clothes that like she'll buy clothes and then never want to wear them. You rarely see me dress like this. I'm yeah. I'm dressed like this today. Like you she never wants to go out somebody. with us because we're gonna go out to eat usually like and it's another stress like if we do go on vacation and some something happens where you know you're you're not gonna want to work out on vacation or you're gonna have to eat a different way and it's just it's been a constant battle since past the townhouse if you guys saw my snapchat memories they're like, all me crying like it's <laughs> just it's been a lot and like I honest you know I'm here for you 
I whatever you want to do, go ahead, do it. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. Thank you. With no matter what you do. And it's sad because I feel like I shouldn't even have to explain myself this much. I feel like no one should. Well, I feel like anyone should be able to do whatever. I just they feel want like everyone, body. everyone has an opinion on the internet, and, and everyone will. So I'm already ready for but, the comments. But for the people that really know you, they know you've been trying. Yeah. And they know how, like, how far you've actually come. And, like, for the people that really care, they, they really will understand. This wasn't my first, like, just jump to this fix was, it all. This, this was an A, B, C, D. This is Z. This is last resort. Like I said, I know everyone will have an opinion. <clears throat> and that's fine. It's my life, my decision, my body, mm -hmm. and I hope you all do what you want with your life and your body. Well, and I'm not going to tell you what to do. So yeah, I hope that you guys support whatever I decide to do. Um, Listen, if I didn't chop off the fat blubber I had here, I would not be where I am today. I wouldn't be happy. I I'm wouldn't be, and that's not for everyone. That's not for everyone. But that was just my personal own journey. Everybody has their own journey, and you have your own too. Yeah. And if that's what's going to do it for you, then that's what's going to do it for you. Like, from what we know, we only have one life. Do whatever you want with your body. It's your body, your choice. I could end up going in here and deciding this isn't for me. So we're going to go to the consultation. I'm going to see how I feel. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully bring you guys with a little and I'll keep you guys updated. How did you feel? I feel pretty good. There's a lot of people in here. There's a lot of people. We didn't get to record. I only recorded my foot. I apologize. I just recorded the wall. Really. I'm sweating because I'm nervous. Um, they're gonna come in here and examine Julia. I don't think I'm allowed to be in the room, but it's like, I seen your tummy before. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, uh, but still, like, like, I mean, how do you feel? It's pretty easy. And she is right. It's like your legs. Okay, because I told her my main concern. I, I don't know if it got recorded. It's just like in the future, because I do have a thyroid problem. Like, I'm going to get old one day. Like, I don't know what my body's going to look like. Like, am I just going to end up with like huge like, legs? Big legs. If I suck it out of here. Yeah. But then again, like up here bothers me more. But so your legs, know. your legs in general aren't, it's not like you put on weight. No, it's, all you my just, weight no. is just held up here. Here. Exactly. It's not like you've been gaining all of this weight. Yeah. You, you don't. Exactly. It's just it just isn't going away. Yeah. That's that's what it is. And you can, whoever comes in here again, you can always make sure to like ask them and like if you're not 100 percent with yeah. it, then you're not 100 percent we'll with ask, it. But, like the actual doctor too. Yeah. But she seemed like she was like aware. And yeah. She knew, I mean, so. I was honestly kind of comforted by how many people were in here. I was like, oh, okay. There's, there's a lot of people. There's a lot. There really is. So. Everyone's trying to get their fat sucked out. Yeah. Oh my god. When she god. said like there's there's a little like hole like that. Oh, the no, that's how it goes in and sucks it out. Mm -hmm. She said it's the side of the size of a freckle. I don't know. Oh. It's a little wobbly. I apologize. Okay, so I just finished my consultation. The lady was really nice. Everything went well. The surgeon basically said he would shake me like an hourglass. Stop. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I didn't get to go in that room because. Yeah, he was like, oh, you already have a six pack. I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, she's right under that little bit of fat. And he was like, I'll make it look feminine though. He was like, all I got to do is take a little bit of that out and you'll have a six pack. <laughs> Sign me up. What? I should have had him look at me too. Yeah, and then he was like, if, and then he was like, he was like easy peasy type of situation. Yeah, he was like, all I gotta do is, he, he was basically like, I'm an easy case. Wow. And they said, that was the first time in my life I've been called petite. He was like, you're petite. So they took the price down. Okay. Because I guess there's not that much to take out. Okay, so how do you feel? I feel good. It's just scary. Like, I yeah. need time to digest okay. it, but, like... Yeah, I get that. I get that. They literally just give you a Xanax before you go in. A Xanax, um, an antibiotic, a <laughs> uh, painkiller, okay. and an anti-nausea medication. I already take Xanax. I yeah. told him, and he was like, yeah, we'll just... Give we're just going to give you another more. one. The only thing is I can't take my Zola for a week. Okay. I don't know why. But, but that's not hard. That one's not hard. I would have to talk to my doctor. I was already coming off of it. Yeah. So I'd have to figure out, though, because you can't go cold turkey for a week. Yeah. So I'd have to figure that out. 
But but, but you're already. That, what's craziest? What are the odds you're already trying to wing off that? Besides that, they yeah. They, besides that, they weren't worried about my thyroid. Yeah. Um. Well, I did get on camera. Like they just want to make sure. I it's, asked. Everything's good yeah, with that, I so. asked like what the dangers and complications were. They said they've never had an infection. Um. And they were like, and that's basically a new, your lifestyle. She was like, I, I will be honest with you. She said, you will probably take longer to heal than um, other people because you've never had surgery before. So your um, body doesn't so know what's going on. your body's going to be like, but, I, I think a lot of people that they probably have have already had surgeries. But like even my so, top surgery, it healed really fast and yeah. really well. And that was my first ever she, surgery. And, it was and really she invasive. told me, cause I, I was like, what should I expect? And she was like, literally to be sore and you might feel like heat on your stomach. But she was like, you should be fine. Like she, she was like, besides soreness and a little pain, she was like, there honestly shouldn't be any problems. Wow. And I was like, so I don't have to be worried about like not being able to breathe. And she would be like, no, like you would never, <laughs> like, that would be like very concerning. Um, and I told her like, I'm a very anxious person. And she was like, it wouldn't be natural if you weren't anxious, like going into something. Going like in this. there too. I, I did notice like they were, the girl was very nice. Everybody was very nice in there. There's a lot of people in there and. I mean, the way you're talking about how the doctor was talking about your body and stuff, he seems like a good person. Like, it seems like it was easy peasy for him. Yeah. He didn't it look at easy peasy. He didn't seem... He was like, this, 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 this. I was like, okay. He said this. He's like, I'm going to do this, this, this. He this. said, I'm like, going to okay. do it all. Okay. I said, okay. so I'm going to be... And he was like, yep. I was like, all right. So I'm going <laughs> to say less. But anyway, I, I honestly, on a real note, I do have to digest it. I mm -hmm. have to think about it, and I'll decide in a little bit that, um, if I actually want to do it. And we'll pick up the camera whenever that happens. Um, yeah, when that decision is, oh my god, I can't talk. When that decision is made. But for right now, um, at least it's an option. Mm -hmm. I went and I got the consultation. Yeah. And I just wanted to be transparent with you guys. So I will keep you updated on if I decide to go through with it, if I decide not to. Um, the Can procedure just... is called air sculpt. If I didn't tell you guys that, um, it's um, the most minimally invasive Minimalistic. lipo. Yeah, I was get sorry. I kind of interrupted you. I was gonna say when you were in there, somebody came out. Oh, how how were they? She walked out. She just had like um like it looked like a tight like oh, she walked. Oh yeah, compressed. You're awake. It was sense. like compressed. Oh yeah, the compression. Yeah, it was just compression she like just on out. on her chilling. arms and a robe, a black robe. Dang. She and somebody had her bags and she just walked out. Oh, cool. So, okay. Worst comes to worst, you need a wheelchair. Because I don't know if y'all remember her with wisdom teeth. Oh my god, I told him about that. I told them about that. He was like, Sir, I was on the floor. Oh, but anyway, guys, um, that is all for this video. Uh, we love you guys so much. We will see you later. And, and say, say A1. A1.